sheer joy as the spacecraft that will carry the stranded astronauts home docks at the International Space Station. It's the first step in bringing home astronauts Sonny Williams and Butch Wilmore. Hello, everybody. I'm Sonny. Remarkably, all through their nine-month ordeal as space castaways, Sonny and Butch have stayed positive, even playful, embodying all American virtues of grit and can-do determination. It's a great place to be, a great place to live, a great place to work. They turned Christmas in space into a candy cane tossing party. A couple little things um, we have here uh, with us. And staged a zero-gravity Olympics. I spoke with former space shuttle astronaut Charles Camarda. Some people get bent out of shape over a two hour layover. Is there a lesson in here for all of us? Absolutely, absolutely, especially Sunny. She is always happy, always smiling. Um, they both are, and they just maintain that kind of spirit. Something that you didn't expect goes wrong and then you're beating yourself up because that didn't go right. And then you have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> this photo raised concerns that she was losing muscle mass. There's some rumors around out, outside there that I'm losing weight and stuff. No, I'm actually right at the same amount. Folks in space, you know, their heads look a little bit bigger because the fluid evens out along the body. There are challenges ahead when they return, like adjusting to Earth's gravity. You kind of lose your balance. That comes back within two or three days. For the extended missions, Really, it's getting that muscle mass back, getting that bone density back so you don't feel as frail, you don't hurt yourself, you have to be very careful. Meanwhile, we can all take lessons in the power of staying positive from Butch and Sonny. We're coming back before long, so you know, don't do, make all those plans without me. <laughs> you know, we'll be back before too long.